stay cool every day. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. Got for me. An update. Good morning, folks. Are you cool? Hey, everybody. It's your head jump. This is space. There's space all over the place. Eyes to the skies. Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor news science upon you. This is a Thor news presentation. Thor news presents. All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Super Weird Wild Doomy Weekend. I don't know why, but it seems like there's a lot of doomy news in the news. So I'm going to try and bring it to you as best I can. And let's try and make the doom and gloom fun, shall we? I mean, because if, if we got to go, we might as well have some fun when we go. That's weird. Everything's weird. Okay. And so, whereas we have a lot of energy in the weather and the astrology, and the astrologers are saying that this is super weird planetary energy time. And I got to say, I feel mighty weird. Everything feels weird. Sun's weird. The weather's weird. People are weird. Planets are weird. Sky's weird. So we'll just keep talking about weird stuff if you can handle it. And if you can't, then I guess go, go talk about politics somewhere in semi-inconsequential things at the moment. Right now, I'm talking about major Earth changes. Because, and Earth, in Siberia, there is a huge crater, and it is getting bigger. And to me, it kind of looks like a giant intergalactic stingray crash landed on Earth. But we'd know about that if that happened, right? Okay. That's what it looks like to me. I don't know what it looks like to you. You can tell me. In the comment section. All right, in Siberia, there is a huge crater and it is getting bigger. A crater formed in Siberia's permafrost and is growing at an alarming rate. If I understand permafrost correctly, that's when shit gets so cold, it stays frozen permanently. Hey, maybe I'm wrong and this will be one of those wonderful times where you can correct me. Near the Yana River Basin, in a vast area of permafrost, there is a dramatic tadpole-shaped hole in the ground. The Bata Gaika Crater. The crater is known as a mega slump. Wow, I feel like I'm kind of having a mega slump in life. Can't do anything awesome. So, I relate to you, giant stingray crater, and it is the largest of its kind. Almost 0.6 miles, one kilometer, long, and 282 feet deep, or 86 meters. But these figures will soon change, because it is growing quickly. Locals in the area avoid it, saying it is a doorway to the underworld. All right. And speaking of that, there have been a lot of stories on Pluto. I'll try and cover one or two later. But for scientists, the site is of great interest. Looking at the layers exposed by the slump can give indications of how our world once looked, of past climates. At the same time, the acceleration of growth gives an immediate insight into the impact of climate change on the increasingly fragile permafrost. Wait, so can permafrost melt? If so, then it's not really permanent. So maybe we could just call it dwarf frost. So I'm sorry, that may not have been that funny. My sense of humor is... Taking a hit lately. One is from Glacier Ice, left over from the last Ice Age. But wait, I read some things saying that Ice Age hasn't even officially ended yet. So, I know people are saying we're going to have a new Ice Age. How can you have a new Ice Age if the old one hasn't even ended yet? Maybe the new Ice Age is just the end of the old one. You would think that maybe an Ice Age would bookend itself well, you know. Have the most interesting stuff be in the beginning, the middle, and the end. But what the hell do I know? I'm just an unpopular YouTuber. The other type, the present one around the... But the Gika crater is ice that is formed in the ground itself. Wait, what? That's kind of scary. This doom video is scaring me, man. I don't know if I'm going to make it through. Often, this ice is trapped beneath a layer of sediment and has been frozen for at least two years. So it's not permanently. That would be like, man, I wonder if I remember going to make a funny joke again. What happens if I don't? You know what? I bet if I didn't make a funny joke again, my subscriber base would go through the roof. The people can't handle jokes with serious subjects. I get the feeling that they just want people to tell them what to think. And make no jokes. So great, I've lost my sense of humor. My subscriber base is going to go crazy through the roof. Hell yeah. When the when God opens the door, he turns on trash compactor with a window. Oh, God. I know, not having a sense of humor is kind of fun because really bad jokes can be funny. And I'm way off topic. Shit, just tell me how much this thing is going to grow because it's just a giant hole in the ground that's growing. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to read all the fluff. Cause I got so many stories to cover and I'm scrolling, we're scrolling, we're scrolling, 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 scrolling. All right. Yeah, there it is. That's a giant stingray thingy. Hey, Phil Plate, you out there? Can you tell us exactly how this thing formed? And, and is it going to kill us, man? <laughs> All right. But it does seem like there are a lot of growing sinkholes, cracks, and general weirdness. Definitely, I think the Earth's tectonic plates are shifting. Oh, also, I just woke up.
So I might not be making any sense. It's wait, so yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a giant freaking alien stingray, Siberia. And it's getting bigger and eventually may eat the world. So I don't think there's a lot of sugar in the world. Do they have giant alien stingray diabetes or whatever? Well, anyway, I'll leave a link to the article. They're not going to tell me. They're just going to talk about climate forever. We will talk about permafrost later. It's a fascinating subject. Like, how fast can something freeze? Oh, look at that. Those are permanent, permanently frosted. You can see it's like a caveman who got, you can see his beard and shit right there. Sounds like he got frozen just hanging out, smoking a pipe by the tree with his little dog. That is wicked. All right, so we found a frozen caveman and something that may destroy the earth. Anyway, join me for my next Doom episode, which should be soon, where we talk about the great Antarctic and crack, which is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. All right, all right. I'm, I'm rusty, so forgive me. Whatever. Peace out.